All right, guys, update. This is a look of disgust and unhappiness. Not yep. sure what happened, but. We stripped the threads in the nut or on the bolt or something because it's just the way crap goes. So now we got to cut that off of there or some, I don't know, so aggravating. Why stuff don't just work like it's supposed to. It'd be a whole lot easier stuff to just work like it's supposed to. Dad, I really think you should design stuff. Well, I'm sure this is some cheap junk, crap. I don't know. It comes from a very trusted, good parts store. I don't know why it ain't working right. I don't know. It's just aggravating. But sitting here whining about it ain't going to get it done any quicker, so we better get to work. All right, guys. So we got all, finally got everything tore down on the brakes the other night. And we picked up, let's go ahead and start opening this box up, guys. We got all the uh, brake parts and everything we need to rebuild the drum brakes for the rear of this truck. So um, we're going to get that started, getting that laid out. So as you see here, Clint, so let's, there's, there should be four of those brake pads in there. So start setting them out. There'll be two of, two sets, two pairs. Okay. So, These are together. We'll just put them out of the way. Okay, so. This is the side we're working on right now. Yeah, I was just looking because, yeah, that, so this one's, this one's way thicker than this one. You see that? Mm -hmm. This side's thicker. So this goes, always goes to the rear of your pickup, okay, when you put it on. So when. We're going to kind of start to assemble this a little bit, so let's lay it like this. Turn that one over. So that when we pick it up off the table here and take it over there, this will be at the back. That's at the front, though. Okay. If you pick it up and you turn around to put it on oh, the truck. Oh, like that. Okay. Okay. That was, a, that was a weird way of explaining that. No, I, I specifically said if we... Pick it up here, and we go to put it okay, on the truck. There. It couldn't Why have been any more clear. Side? Okay, so all right. So that's the that's that's going to be wrong. That goes on this side. Okay, so is that the back one right there? Yes. Oh. That would go in there like that. So can I flip this over now? Does does it have? Did you leave that little keeper on it? You had the keeper. You took no, the deal out. The, there was a little deal on there, right there. I didn't take it off. I said, don't lose that. It would have been right here. I'm gonna set y'all down so uh, I can I can work and talk. There it is. You set it on top of it, boy. I set it on top of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're the one over here doing all this. Boy. So, okay, so let's calm down. So we've got two sets of, this is all the, the springs for both both sets, Where's both sides. Where's that little to put this on? Bob, I don't know. It's right here. Get, let's, get a, let's get us a tray right here. Don't, don't, yeah, put it, let's put everything over here. Okay, so we got those for our calipers. You know, are not calipers, our cylinders. That, oh. okay. That's what we need. Okay. Look, we got a new one of these. Or does that go in another deal? Uh. I don't know. So let's separate this. We got one orange and one orange. One yellow and one yellow. One blue, one blue. One blue, one blue. And then this one goes green, in the middle. One green, one green. Oh wait, no. It's 
let's, let's set these up here. And then. So guys, what we're doing right here is we're just separating out our break, our parts. You got a blue one over there? Mm -hmm. Okay. There should have been eight of these, or no, four of these. There's one, four. two. You should need one of those. I got one. Here's this. We, you probably we got need a, two of those. Yeah, I got one and you got one. This is everything to do one side and this is everything to do one side, okay? Right. So, um, you got that on there. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do, to see this emergency brake is gonna run through here like this, you see? Right. And then it's gonna hook up right back here on on this. Right. So let's go ahead and stick that in there like you had it. And then we need to put that keeper on there. The new one or the old one? Let's put the new one on there. You have to use your screwdriver. You can't use your, you'll. It's not a pencil, dude. Get a hold of it. There you go. Put your other hand down there so it don't come off and impale me. There you go. You keep, you almost get there. Perfect. All right. All right. We got that. Okay. Now. Just to make sure. Sorry. So we got all new. All right. So let's open this other bag up right here. Is there two of those two bags? Yes. Are they identical? Let's see what this yes. says. Are you sure? One side for one side. Yeah, but one side is they're they're different here. See, this one has a has a red spring in it, and that one has a blue. So let's turn it over. This is twenty five eighty one, and that's twenty five. What's laying over here in the floor? We made a grave mistake, guys, when we took this thing apart. We didn't take a picture first. Okay. So, which one has a has a big deal like this in it? This one. Wait. They both do. Okay. Which? They're identical on each side, just they're swapped. Okay, but we need to know which side we need. Does is this the sense? thick or the thin? See, this one is not identical. Huh? This is a thick one. This is the rear side. That, oh. How's, oh. Okay, so. We could probably look the part number up. That would be way too easy. So this one, I think, is going to be this side. See this deal right here? Uh -huh. Look in yours. It goes the other side. Yeah, you're right. Did, did you look at it before you started tearing open? Uh -huh. Well. Because I think this one is the one that goes over here. See, this is shaped just like that. See? Well, I thought you said that one comes right there. No, I said I don't think this one goes right there. So look to see if this one does. So that's our passenger or driver side. This should, this will be our. This is this one. Okay. So let's set this back over yonder. Did we sharpen this knife here recently? I haven't. Have you? No, it seems, but it seems pretty sharp for some reason. Okay, so I think this is going to go here. Okay. And then this guy. Goes underneath or above? We're going to go in it like that. What goes underneath? Okay. Now then, 
there's was there a, a, a this bag we're not worried with oh, those yeah. yet we're worried with this okay so this here let's get those out what, well hang on this little red spring is going to go whoop you why can't we, drop stuff why don't we get off the stool and get it out of the way i'm barely tall enough to do this yeah you're perfectly tall look it's going to go over that don't oh, okay Okay. Now, what's next? Well, you don't really know. This spring right here is going to go. I need to look at my phone. Hang on. I think I know, it's. I'm just looking. I did happen to find a, fo a photo online that kind of shows. Maybe shows what we need to see. We've got this thing. I've got another one of these. Where does this go? This did, this one didn't come out of there, did it? Mm -mm. This one's got one in there. Okay. Let me make sure it don't have two. Um. Oh, this don't go right here. That yeah. one goes right there. This How one's you, over here. How do you know? Okay. Tuh. There we go. Now then, this shows to have a little hook over here. Let me see. So that would be right here? Well, this or no, looks No, that's like, right here. Oh, like that. No. See, that spring is on the outside. I'm not sure that this doesn't fit around there some way or another. Like this, does that make sense? Mm, maybe. Hey guys, so we're back out in the shop doing some work here on Labor Day weekend. Working on the square body. So what we're working on today is we're still waiting on parts to come in. We've got had to order some fuel tank hangers, uh, fuel lines, brake lines, stuff like that. So we got the new tires mounted on the wheels and we got to noticing that a lot of these studs are watered out. They've got some sp spots in them like if Erica, let's see, well, these ain't quite as bad, but just some spots where the threads are messed up and they're you know, after 40 years, this pickup's got two or three different lug nuts on it and sizes and stuff like that. So we thought, you know, while we got the time, let's just go ahead and knock all the st wheel studs out and then put new studs and new, new lug nuts on it. So Clance is getting ready. He's already, you can see right here, he's already knocked all these wheel studs out. So this is what they look like. They've got these little knurls on the ends of them here. So this comes in from the back side and then when, when it pulls this, when you pull it up in there, then it holds it and it doesn't go anywhere. So he's already drove all these out. What we're gonna do is take some, the new ones, we'll set them in. I'm trying to find some washers that we can put on there or a nut that's a little bit bigger. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the impact wrench and a new lug, lug nut to put on there and then we'll suck it down and it, it'll pull it up in there. So we'll show you that real quick if we can find some washers right right quick. Come on, I think we're doing that. Let me look out here on the tractor. And littler, right? Well, they're the same or no, they're size. they're the same size, but this one's shorter. That one's shorter, so it needs, those go on the back because this has to go through the disc part of your brake up there. So we need to be sure and keep those to the end until we get to the big, to the front one. So we're gonna put a... Well... You put the you put this in there a little ways, right? Yep. And, then and we can't the, hit it, so right. we're going to use that. Put the um, washers we're, on it. Well, it, though, I don't have those washers aren't big enough, so I don't I don't have any washers around here. I don't think anywhere. 
good when you can hand tighten this thing almost all the way. Yeah, you can start putting them in and start hand tightening a well, I don't put a nut on it yet. We just want to use one nut to do all of them. That way if we booger it up or tear it up, we only have to replace one nut. Does that make sense? Right. All right, guys. So right now we're going to take these um, lug bolts off, get them off. And since they're the old ones, we don't need to put a, a uh, lug bolt on. We can just whack them off. So Whack them? Whack them. I need to get on this side. Probably. And these are new brakes, so we definitely don't want to hit them. You don't want to hit your brakes anyways. And we're trying not to hit this, just the bolts. Oh, you hit it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, I didn't have enough thick washers, so I took an old, a, a nut that's too big, and we put a washer on here, and I'm using this lug nut turned around backwards so it doesn't want to pull in there, and what we're going to do is use this impact to pull this in, hopefully, so let's see, might get loud, but here we go. Now that's how you do it. Oh, babe. Milwaukee gets it done. In our head to head competition, Milwaukee versus Ingersoll Rand, Milwaukee won, Ingersoll Rand zero. Am I the only one that's surprised that a battery operated would be to. Well, there's a. Is that an air compressor one? Is that. Normal? Well, I don't know if it's normal or not, but that right. Milwaukee's pretty stout. Is I there mean, a difference in the like torque or whatever of the two or what? Probably, and that I don't like. I said the air compressor doesn't have. It's not a very big one. It's not really made for this, so I don't know that I mean, it's it, a true. I mean, it had an error in the first time we first time <laughs> you used it. Yeah. I thought you were going to get a new air compressor. Erica. I'm just, you've said it for like seven years. You actually finally mounted a, or poured a slab for a new one, but we still don't have one. Yeah, we still don't have one, but we're working on it. And right we have now. electricity over there too. So I feel like we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Just not there. Woo, that baby's hotter than a $2 pistol. All right, guys, update. This is a look of disgust and unhappiness. Not yep. sure what happened, but we stripped the threads in the nut or on the bolt or something because it's just the way crap goes. So now we got to cut that off of there. Or some I don't know. It's so aggravating. Why stuff don't just work like it's supposed to? It'd be a whole lot easier stuff just work like it's supposed to. Dad, I really think you should design stuff. Well, I'm sure this is some cheap junk crap. I don't know. It comes from a very trusted, good parts store. I don't know why it ain't working right. I don't know. It's just aggravating. But sitting here whining about it ain't going to get it done any quicker, so. 
We better get to work. Oh, Hopefully we stripped the bolt though. Or I mean the nut. The bolt it ain't it don't matter, it's all ruined. I mean we got we gotta get it off of there, so Alright, stay tuned. Alright guys, so we're gonna use this little Amazon special plasma cutter here to see if we can get this nut and stuff off of here, so plasma cutter and I wanted a really good one but we don't use one enough to afford to you know to justify purchasing one so I found this thing on Amazon and Erica bought it for me for Christmas about three years ago and we just used it the first time we used it was on the chicken church to make the steeple but I will say this was what like 300 bucks or something wasn't it no idea I will say for like we just cut that bowl with it we cut some plate with it for 300 bucks, it's pretty good. I mean, I've got it hooked up to 220, you know, and you gotta have an air compressor, but if you're just doing little minor stuff, if you're not running one all day long or trying to make a living with one, I would suggest looking at one of these because it, it does pretty good. This is a Lotus, I don't know, 5000D, LTP 5000D. It's in our Amazon shop. Yeah, is it? Yeah. So go check it out. I mean, it's, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. What little bit I've used it, I've, I've been impressed with it. So, all right, let's see what we can get done now, what we can tear up now. 